Hey YouTube, it's Thomas here. So today I got my hands on a pair of legendary Harbath P3ESR. So I'm so excited to talk about it. Uh, there's a lot of good reviews online. I had really high expectations and uh, let's see if it lived up to my expectations. Check it out. Such a simple design. All right, let me apologize first by saying that the video will not sync up with the audio. I, after filming the video, I keep listening to the hard back and I wanted to add a bit more. So that's why I just wanted to record the audio portion as I'm too lazy to sit in front of the camera again. So as you can see, this is a very simple design. It's just a box <laughs> and it's a very small box. The wood quality on it is just okay. It's uh, after all, this is a $2,000 US speaker, uh, but it's, uh, it's not a joke. This is still a very expensive speaker. Uh, it's very small, as I mentioned, and at the back you have two, two speaker input and you cannot buy MD speakers. Now the grill or a pain in the butt is hard to remove them, so that's why I'm leaving them on. Usually I would remove them when I listen to music. Um, it's not heavy and uh, I think that uh, this will fit nicely in a lot of small apartments. Let's talk about the sound. The bass coming from these speakers are what you expect, right? It's a very small speaker, it's not going to be punchy, it's not going to be earth shattering, you're not going to shake the foundation of your house with it, but it's not that kind of speaker. However, it is adequate. It has enough bass for it to, you don't feel like, oh man, I can't listen to this. It is good enough. Ideally, you want to have a subwoofer with it, which uh, I do. Uh, but when I tr turn off my subwoofer and listen to some slow uh, music, it's, it's okay. But still, uh, I, I would highly recommend a subwoofer. Now the strength of these speakers, and I'm sure a lot of you who have read on the internet know, is the mid-range. Despite it um, being just a $2,000 bookshelf speaker, it can actually compete with a lot of my big speakers when it comes to the mid-range. In fact, my friend who lent it to me uh, told me, in terms of mid-range, it probably might even outperform his own speaker, which are the Katanas, uh, and those are like $15,000 speakers. Uh, I, I think maybe he's exaggerating a little bit, but it is good enough that it can compete with the big boys when it comes to mid-range. It's very engaging, very clear. Uh, you can hear the, the singer breathing easily. And at times I have to keep reminding myself that, wow, this is a $2,000 speaker, and yet it is good enough to compete in uh, against my other bookshelf speakers like the Totem Ember, the Dying Audio Focus uh, 160, even my tower speakers when it comes to the mid-range, right? Right now I'm listening to the Dying Audio S5.4, which are very high-end speakers, well high-end uh, as in maybe $10,000 uh, Canadian at the time when it was new, and yet I would say the mid-range on the Harbeth, uh, I might actually prefer it over the Dying Audio S5.4. Well. Then again, this is a. I'll do a separate review on the Dying Audio S5.4 as it's a very difficult speaker. So, one thing you do have to keep yourself in check though is that expectation versus performance. So, yes, I said that the mid range can compete with the big boys, but however, when it comes to uh, brand name speakers, uh, you have to keep in mind that they price everything correctly meaning that a $2,000 speaker will not outperform a $4,000 speaker. This speaker, although good with the mid-range, will not outperform my Totem Ember. It will not even outperform my Dying Audio Focus. And I think it's normal. The only time you have exception where something that's cheap can outperform something that's expensive is probably uh, those DIY companies where somebody built a speaker in his basement and sells it on the internet, right? Uh, but when it comes to a big company, $2,000 speaker will perform in the $2,000 range comparing to its uh, competition. So the fact that you know I keep uh, comparing to my other speakers like my Totem Ember and my Focus shows that this speaker is that good, right? No, it's not as good as my other speakers, but when it comes to the mid-range, yeah, it can definitely hold its own. Now, let's talk about the other part though, the highs, the details, right? 
Now this is where I get a little bit confused with this speaker. So my first experience with Harbeth was when I went to buy a pair of Monitor Audio GX300 from somebody. Now, for those who don't know this speaker, that is like another full cut, meaning that the, the ribbon tweeter on those speakers are really bright, very detailed, a little bit harsh, and it's uh, it's not for everyone, right? In fact, the person who sold it bought Harbeth because the GX300 was just too bright for him after he upgraded his amp to a Moon 600. So when I was there, I, I asked him, you know, if I can listen to his Harbeth. So we, we changed the GX300 to the Harbeth 30. And my first reaction, like the first instance when he played it, I was like, oh my goodness. You know, all this nonsense about high res tweeters and high res speaker, ultra detail. Oh man, just throw it away, man. This is how you should listen to music. Very smooth, very relaxing very engaging and a little bit roll off right so it doesn't hurt my ears you can get your, your your glass of wine out dim the lights and just relax that's my impression of Harbeth 30. so when i got this Harbeth and i was expecting the same thing but just with less bass because it's smaller in size right like if you look at the focal let's say 1028 focal 936 focal canta and the focal, whatever focal, right? Is the sound signature is the same. You know you're listening to a focal. So these Harbeth confuse me. It, it it doesn't sound anything like the Harbeth 30 that I listen to. One is a very laid back, relaxing speaker, and this one is what I call an exciting speaker. It sounds more like a focal. The metal based tweeter has all the strength and symptom of a metal based tweeter, right? When it comes to let's say guitar. It's very, there's a bite to it, there, it, there's zing to it. Uh, it's like taking a, a butter knife and cutting at you, right? You feel the pressure on you, uh, and if it's done right, it doesn't hurt you. Or a hard bath 30, it's like giving you a massage. So anything, everything that's associated to, let's say, a metal based tutor strength, I hear it in this hard bath. So I was confused. I'm like, oh, why do people say that they, they don't hear the metal base uh, signature? Maybe it's because of the amps that I use, but uh, I don't think so. So having said that, when I first got it, I tried it with the Bel Canto, and it doesn't, it didn't work too well. So these speakers are a bit picky when it comes to uh, amp. So I had to use my Acuface uh, P266 and C22 to, to to tame these speakers, just as I do with my Focals and my Monitor Audio GX300. I needed that kind of amp so that uh, it's uh, pleasant to listen to, right? That was just a little bit too bright for me. Well, maybe I'm just, I, I don't like bright speakers as because my other friends, they can tolerate a bit more when it comes to brightness. Uh, but me, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit picky when it comes to that. So as such, right, uh, if you're somebody who's familiar with the Harbath sound, maybe you want to addition this before buying it blind. So at the end of the day, there you do still need to set the expectation, right? Um, my issue is that I have read so many good reviews on this speaker. I was expecting the new, the world, man. I was expecting it to kick my Totem Embers speaker's ass, and I I didn't get that. And that's when I realized, you know, in in the stereo world, things are priced right. Okay, so a two thousand dollar speaker will not outperform a four thousand dollar speaker. Uh, but nevertheless, the fact that I, I was able to compare them when it comes to just the vocal part tells me that these speakers are definitely worth your time to, to check it out. So with that, I'll end my review. Uh, any questions, comment, please uh, leave it in the comment section. Alright, thanks.